back to another Quick Tip Tuesday, and today we are talking about how to split an audio track in Premiere Pro. This video is a bit of a response to Sunday's video about the Deity D4 Duo, and this microphone in that video, I mentioned it, you can switch into a dual mode where the front mic records to one channel and the rear mic records to channel two. Then in post, you can actually control those channels separately. Well, a big response from you guys was that you've bought the mic, you've pulled it into Premiere Pro, and when you drag the clip into the sequence, there's there's only one audio track. So today we are learning how to split the audio track into channel one, channel two, learn how to control and manipulate them independently, and if you're making videos in Premiere Pro, you should know how to do this. And another Quick Tip Tuesday brought to you guys by Epidemic Sound, the leader in YouTube music licensing. If you guys are looking for music for your YouTube channel, they're, they're the one to go with. There's a free trial, first link in the description. You can go in there, download a bunch of music, make videos, and uh, try them out for free. So today we are talking about how to split an audio track in Premiere Pro. And again, this is super applicable if you've just picked up the new released D4 Duo from Deity, but there's a few other situations where this might be applicable for you. One is some people are running an audio splitter out of their camera so that you can actually plug two microphones in using that channel one and channel two, one maybe being an on-camera and one maybe being a wireless lav system. And another scenario is if you're using one of the Rode mics, I think even some of the new Deities have it, there's a safety channel on there so it'll record one channel at zero db and it'll record a second channel at negative 10 db so that one channel is always being recorded below the other so that if one peaks you you have that second safety channel to go to and this tip today is is what you need to know to be able to go in there actually split those channels apart and manipulate them separately okay let's jump into premiere pro and we're gonna look at that that clip that ended last Sunday's video where, where Eleanor was talking about her raisins. And this was filmed on the DD D4 Duo, so one mic is facing her and one mic is facing me. So we should have two channels to work with. When we go into Premiere Pro here, I grab that clip, I drag it onto the timeline, and there's only one, there's only one audio track here. And if I open this up, you can see that the audio tracks are actually different. You can see this channel is different than this channel because one mic is facing her, one mic is facing me. But if I was to go in here and try to say I want to change the volume on them separately, I don't have that ability because there's only one audio track. So we're going to split those up, but the key here is to actually split them before dragging your clip into the sequence. While the clip is still in the project window, that's where we're going to actually do this. Up here in the project window, I'm going to right click on the clip, I'm going to go to modify, and then audio channels. And in here you can see that the clip channel format right now is stereo. So two clips being recorded together. We're gonna switch that to mono, and then the number of audio clips, we're gonna switch to two, because we want two. We want one for that front mic and one for that rear mic. Or if you're running a microphone with a safety channel, you want one for that higher recorded audio and you want one for that lower recorded audio. So you can work with those separately. Down here under media source channel, under clip one, you just want left selected, and clip two, you want right selected. And we're gonna hit okay and and nothing seems to have happened. Except that now when I go over here and I grab that same clip and I drag it onto my timeline, there's actually two audio clips. Boom, one, two. So now these are actually on separate channels down here. Let's zoom in. So this one is audio track one, this one's audio track two. I can actually control the volume of each of them separately. So let's go ahead and play this clip back. What are you eating, bub? What are they called? Yeah. Can you say raisin? Raisin? Can you say it? <laughs> That's pretty good. So now we can see that those audio tracks are actually two separate tracks now. They're not together. So I can maybe turn her volume up, I can bring my volume down, and I can manipulate them independently. The other really cool thing is that now when I take an effect, an audio effect, and I drag it on there, I can actually manipulate that effect separately for each channel. So let's go ahead in here and we're gonna grab a dynamics filter. Let's just grab a normal dynamics filter. I'm gonna drag it onto the clip down here. And now up here when we see it, we see that I have my video up here and audio one and audio two, and I can actually do those different dynamics separately. So I can do this one. Let's say I wanna bring up the makeup gain a little bit on this one. And then on track two, I want it to be totally different. I can do that because that effect, as I drop it on there, is actually coming up as audio one and audio two. I can change them separately and really manipulate each track independently. 
Boom, quick tip Tuesday. That's it guys, it's super simple to be able to take a single audio track, split it into channel one, channel two, then you can manipulate those channels separately. A really, really important thing to know if you have a mic like this that is automatically recording two channels, or if you have a mic that's recording a normal channel and a safety channel, or if you're running a split, there's all sorts of different times and usages where you need to know how to split that audio track and manipulate each channel independently. And now you do know, quick tip Tuesday. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, in the next video, in the next video is where I'll talk all about the drone, what happened, and, and what I think and what I hope is going to happen. Okay, I'll see you soon. Huh?